Good afternoon, my name is Pop. This video tutorial in Ubuntu Basics shows how you can make non-breaking frames which enclose images and captions. Images know enough not to break across pages when you shift from page to page in an e-book reader. But although the images work fine, when you have a caption associated with the image, quite often you will find that the image shows on one page and the caption on another and it's very nice to keep them together and I will show you how to do that. Let's go to the uh, ebook reader and I'll show you what the thing looks like when you do not have captions that stay together with the picture. I'm on the first page, second page. Now see this picture at the bottom? I got the caption and it shows at the top. As it happens, that is a bottom caption, but there was room enough for it. So the ebook reader said, well, heck, I'll just throw the bottom caption to the top there and then, you know, show some yellow. And then when you go to the next page, there's the rest of it. Oh dear, now here's another one. Same thing. Same thing. It just keeps right on going. This one happened to come out just right. Now, this is by chance because of the size of the text. If you change the size of the text or if you change the size of the screen, see it screws up too. Now, I'm going to close out the ebook reader and I'm going to go over to the editor and I'm on the line in the cascading style sheet which is going to control all of that. Let me zoom in on it because it's uh, called NB No Break. And uh, I put a slash star in front of it to temporarily make it not work. Anything that starts with a slash star and ends with a star slash will be treated as a comment and the program ignores it as an instruction. But right now I'm going to get rid of them and they turn color and so I've got this one liner in here that says page dash break dash before colon space always semicolon and that's the that's the only uh, line in there that's anything that is in a division NB is now going to follow that rule notice underneath it I've got the one that is more commonly known and uh, it's rimmed out to page break inside a void. Well, it doesn't work consistently well. It works a lot of the time, but then sometimes it doesn't and you are not pleased with the result. So I'm not using it. So I rimmed it out and I put page break before always as a division. And when you go to every single frame in this EPUB, there is a division wrapped around the frame, the image, and the caption. So here we are, div class NB, and then underneath it, div class frame to the left, half of a screen width, followed by the image, there's the image, it's a JPEG. And then at the bottom there is the caption. So since I've got this the way I want it to now and I have allowed the NB command to work, I'm going to save it and I'm going to go over to the EPUB and I'm going to look at it. And in this case every single picture is going to end up properly where the caption is with the frame. Here I am on the first page. Now see the space at the bottom? There was no room for the picture and the frame. And the instruction NB said, hey, even those ro room for the caption, don't put it up there because we want to keep them together. Actually what it says was break page here. And it's at the top and it's always going to be at the top every single time as I step through it the pictures are always going to be at the top in the frame. 
Once in a while I may want to have a frame which is quite lengthy and I'll say to myself, well, you know, it would be all right if that thing would break. And then I won't put the NB in front of it. That's all I got for this one. My name is Pop. This is Caliber. Thank you very much.